I need some sort of intro, so I'm inserting it now. <laughs> That's what he said. Hey guys, Jess is a mess here. I'm Jess, my entire life is a mess, and today I'm going to be doing a growl makeup tutorial for all of you lovelies. So, this is my makeup walkthrough for Growl Sutcliffe from Black Butler. Please enjoy. Alright, so we're going to start off with a clean face that is moisturized to your pleasing. Uh, I apologize if this commentary gets weird. And I'm going to go in with my Rimmel Match Perfection Concealer in Fair Slash Light and just put it all over my zits, and I have a lot of them, and my red areas because Grell's skin is pale and flawless and we are going to try to match that as much as possible. So I will then take that same concealer and run that under my eyes to cover up my under eye circles. And I'm just going to use my finger to blend that in. And then I'll add a little bit more on my nose because it gets a little red and also my chin. Alright, now I'm going to go in with my L'Oreal True Match Foundation in Classic Ivory because I think it's one of the best that I own and I really like how this range has so many different skin tones. Uh, but it's not super cheap so of course you can use whatever your favorite foundation is. I'm going to apply this with my Real Techniques Face Brush. It is my favorite thing to use the morning of a convention because it's going to apply my foundation super fast and easy. While on the other hand, I feel like using a beauty blender takes a little bit longer and I'm usually in a huge rush when I'm getting ready for a convention. Now if you want to blink out your lips for an anime character, which I usually do, I would highly suggest using the same foundation you use for your face because I have tried a uh, NYX lip primer and though it does pale out my lips, it's really hard to apply and kind of uncomfortable and it peels off a little bit, so I'm really not a huge fan of that. But foundation looks really nice and it stays well throughout the day, so I like to use a brush and then sometimes I will go in with my finger to just do some touch-ups, make sure it all blends together well. Now I'm using a small e.l.f. brush, which is super cheap, and my favorite setting powder of all time, the Rimmel Stay Matte Pressed Powder in Translucent. And I'm going to quickly use this to set my under eyes, and then I'm going to take my Real Techniques powder brush and apply this to the rest of my face. Now Rimmel has other shades of this powder, but I've heard that the translucent works pretty well on all skin tones. And I am definitely not the dewy type of girl, I need a nice matte face, and I think a matte face works better for anime characters as well. Now we're moving on to the eyes, and I'm using my e.l.f. eye primer to prime my lids because priming is super important, and this is a very cheap primer, so <laughs> please don't put anything on your eyes without primer because it will fade and crinkle, and you will be very sad. Anyway, you can already see the difference. I mean, look at this shit. Now, after both eyes are primed, I'm going to take my cheap Wet n Wild eyeshadow in Creme Brulee and sort of set my lids with it. Obviously, if you have darker skin tone, this wouldn't work for you, so I guess you could use a translucent powder for that as well, but I like this. Alright, now for the hard part. I'm going to use my NYC Liquid Liner because it's the easiest to use in my opinion and can give you that really sharp wing that we want for Grell. Now, eyeliner is not my specialty, I actually kind of suck at it, so hopefully you are more skilled than me. And if you're not, don't even worry because we're on the same level here. <laughs> so anyway, do your best to get that basic wing and bring it down below the middle of the eye. Now on this side I got a little hot and bothered with the NYC liner because it was a little too flimsy, so I switched it out for another liquid liner. This one is from Essence and it's waterproof and fucking amazing and literally the same price as the NYC one. But the applicator is different so the reason I didn't use Essence for the wing is because it doesn't have that sharp pointed edge. So now I'm just using it to make Grell's three little fake eyelashes I think is what they are. And to be completely honest I would recommend Essence over NYC liner but it would just be harder to get that wing. Whew! On to Grell's red eyebrows. I'm using a super cheap lip pencil that I found at Sally's Beauty Supply. It's by a brand called Beautique and is in the shade Real Red, which happens to perfectly match my Grell wig. Now, I'm not one who avidly does their eyebrows, so as you can see, they are quite a bit bushy, which is very different from Grell's, but I'm not going to be plucking my eyebrows anytime soon. <laughs> Sorry. And honestly, it doesn't matter because we're gonna look rad as fuck anyway. So basically just follow the natural arch of your eyebrow, and if it's not perfect, remember, they're sisters, not twins. Now Grell has some sharp ass cheekbones, so to accentuate that I'm going to use a flat foundation brush and go in with Disney's Dare to Dream Beauty Book in Pocahontas. This is only $10 and you can find this palette at 
pretty much any Walgreens. I really love it, and I'm going to be using this Voices of the Mountain bronzer as my contour shade because it's honestly just amazing. And I am taking that from the top of my ear and slanting it down until it almost lines up with the edge of the eye. This shade is a little too dark for me, but if I blend it with some of that Rimmel Translucent Powder, it's just fucking perfect. Like, I've never had a better contour. Now again, Grail has a lot of sharp features, so I'm going to take that same stuff and line my jawline with it, and also underneath it a little bit. Shading and contouring, man. It's a bitch, but it sure does wonders. Now we're almost done guys, I promise, but it's time to highlight, and we don't want none of that sparkly shit. So I'm going to take my Wet n Wild Contour Palette with a small elf brush, and I'm just going to put that lighter color on the top of my cheekbones, under my eyes, on my nose, forehead, and my chin. Alright, now we're going to go back to the eyes for a second and give them more dimension. And for that, I'm going to use the shade Heroin in my Dare to Dream Beauty book. And a blending brush would be best for this, but all I had to work with was this flat elf brush, so... <laughs> What can I say? Alright, and I'm going to blend that straight into my crease. Just blend, blend, blend. Back to that Wet n Wild eyeshadow, I'm using that for my brow highlight, and I'm also going to pop some more on the center of my lids, just to bring them out a little bit more. Now this next part is totally optional, but whenever I cosplay pale characters like Grell or any other kind of Grim Reaper, I like to add a little bit of this white powder from Blackheart to my face, just so I look a little more deathly, and you can usually find this powder at Hot Topic, so it's not sold in any drugstore. Whew, two more steps. Today I'm going to use one of my favorite mascaras, which is Maybelline's Grey Lash Mascara. It makes my lashes look longer and fuller, and it's also pretty cheap. Like none of the items I've used in this video are over $10, so that's really cool, including what I'm about to show you next. Yes, that's right, we need our sharp teeth. You cannot cosplay Grell without his pointy teeth. It just pulls the whole cosplay together. Now all we have left is our costume. And then you just put on the glasses, and obviously the wig, and everything else. And you are complete! So this isn't my entire Grell cosplay, but... I mean, it's sort of like a sexy Grell, like a more sophisticated sexy grell <laughs> anyway i'm sort of like a sexy librarian grell look at that contour though on point you can totally put fake eyelashes on but i don't own any right now so i'm not going to uh if you want to know how to make these teeth like i said i'll link that it'll be in the link in the description as well this particular set of teeth does make me very lispy but they look rad as fuck, am I right? So I mean, who cares? I feel like my eyeliner could be a bit thicker. It has been a while. I do apologize since I have been in this getup. Oh, and obviously uh, before I put any of my makeup on is when I put my contacts in, but I don't actually have any contacts today because I <laughs> don't have any at the moment. So I have to just sort of wing it because I don't have the money for new contacts, so. Anyway, if you have any other questions for me, be sure to ask me on either my Facebook page or my Tumblr page, all will be linked below. And you can follow me on Instagram for more pictures of my grill and other cosplay things. Thank you so much for subscribing, and if you haven't already, hey, click that one of, uh, the button in one of these corners. One's a like button and one's a subscribe button, so you may as well click both, am I right? I have no idea what I'm doing with my life, but I hope that you can join me on the journey to finding out. I'll see you next time, lovelies. Bye-bye. Oh my god, what if Grell had a mustache? Like, how weird would that be? Let's just add one real quick. Real quick, we'll just see. Much creepier. All right, let's not ever do that again. If you want to do this sort of sexy librarian uh, Grell, that wasn't sexy. <laughs> I wish I had more light. Get this bitch. Oh, Ooh, <laughs> no, I messed up. Anyway, thank you all for watching.